everybody, my name is Cassidy Guard. I am so excited for this video today. As you know, every single Friday I choose a piece off the Liberty Project and I make a video about it. So today is a very, very specific video. This is the type of video that I would type into a search engine box while I was going through a very specific time in my life. The title of this video is How to Get Over a Breakup. And the reason I chose this today is because when I was on the Liberty Project, this writer named Karen Nevig had typed in how country music helped her get over her breakup. And she talked about country stars such as Miranda Lambert. My personal get over breakup artist country musician would definitely be Taylor Swift. So along the way to finding your future husband, you will probably go through a lot of breakups. These are the five things that have helped me during every single breakup that I've gone through. Number one, delete, 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 block, defriend, unfollow, do everything that you need to do so that you don't have to be constantly bombarded by the new things that your ex man is now doing with their life that does not include you. So this took me a really long time to do. I think during my last breakup, I probably didn't delete and defriend until about four or five months after. And I'm telling you, once I had done that, I was over it so much faster than I would have been if I tried to keep up the friend front and I saw when they were like out at the bar with all their single friends that I knew were probably picking up new girls. And every time I saw on Facebook, it would like send me into a spiral. My second tip is to change what you're eating. The only thing that has ever helped me during a breakup when I am going through a raging hormonal breakout is to stop eating processed foods, dairy, anything that is adding to your already insane hormones is only going to make your skin even more angry. I really recommend changing your diet, not to lose weight, but to be kind to yourself. Your body uses a lot of extra energy processing foods that it doesn't understand. So anything that doesn't actually come from the earth is really just making it harder on your system to digest it, which is really going to make your energy deplete that much faster. And when you're going through a breakup, you have no energy because you feel lethargic all the time because you're so freaking depressed. It's like the worst thing ever. Food that have helped me are juices, fresh fruits and vegetables, really lean proteins like salmon and chicken and treat yourself to a steak every now and then, but food that really is just very cleanly made, doesn't have processed ingredients, doesn't have all the harsh chemicals, and it's going to help you feel a lot better and definitely like a lot lighter and brighter and just more energetic. So that's my second tip. My third tip, which is probably the single-handedly most important tip, is to find a Netflix show to binge watch. Okay, find a show that you've been hearing about for years, you've been wondering what all the hype is about, and you have lots of time to kill. I'm talking a show that has like at least five seasons or more that's going to take hours and hours and hours and hours of your day to watch and get so wrapped up in that show that that is literally all you can think about is getting home every day to watch that show. Your mind is going to get so wrapped up in the plot line of the characters that it is going to make you just not even pay attention to your phone and if this guy has texted or called you to check in. So I highly recommend every single person going through a breakup, whether you are a guy or a woman, you have to read this book! This book! A Return to Love by Marianne Williamson. This book saved me. This book, oh my gosh. Okay, this book really teaches you these steps to forgiveness and forgiveness is such a big deal in relationships because the more you hold on to whatever grudges and resentments you have are only going to drag you down. It is not going to affect the other person, it is going to affect you. This book single-handedly taught me the art of forgiveness and grace. And then five, here's what I have to tell you. This is just my nugget of wisdom. Okay, it's a little exercise, all right? Hope that's okay, it's not like homework, but what you do is you write down every single thing that disappointed you about your ex. It could be, he didn't celebrate me when I made important career accomplishments. You reword it and you write, I wonder how I can celebrate my own career accomplishments and make myself proud. This really was a huge deal for me because it taught me how to live for myself and not wait around on somebody else. So if you were disappointed that you didn't feel like he was your biggest cheerleader, then you were wrong anyway because he was never going to be your biggest cheerleader. You should have been your biggest cheerleader for yourself. These are the five tips that have really helped me in the dating world post breakup. 
Um, I hope that it helps you and you better play a whole heck of a ton of Taylor Swift because I'm telling you there is something about the angst and the anger in her voice that also has that like saucy sweetness that is going to like get you through this because just remember like you're only gonna get stronger and stronger but do not forget to keep your sweet side too. Please hit thumbs up if you love this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one and I will see you on the next one. Bye everyone!